Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Uh, we have been uh, doing a series, we've been studying about daily reminders. Um, Psalm 103 verses 1 and 2, the psalmist says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all His benefits. So he's saying, you know, he's telling himself, bless the Lord, he's telling himself, forget not all his benefits. So it's as if he's got a checklist, you know, a list of things. Okay, this is a benefit from God. This is a benefit from God. This is yet another benefit from God. And I've just got a, I made a list and I'm telling myself that I will not forget these benefits. I'll choose to remember these benefits. Um, and, and so should we, even as we go through this day, uh, we can have a checklist of things a daily reminder for every day of the week, a daily reminder of the truth of um, God, um, of who we are to God, of who He is to us. Um, today's reminder, our daily reminder for today is, is simply this, that sin cannot dominate you. Sin cannot dominate us. Reading from Romans chapter 6, verses 11 to 14, it says, Likewise, you also reckon yourselves to be dead indeed to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Therefore, do not let sin reign in your mortal body that you should obey it in its lusts. Um, and do not present your members as instruments of unrighteousness to sin, but present yourselves to God as being alive from the dead, and your members as instruments of righteousness to God. Verse 14, For sin shall not have dominion over you, for you are not under law, but under grace. Now this is the eternal uh, truth, foundational truth, that sin shall not have dominion over us. The verses before that verse, uh, are also important. It says that reckon yourself dead to sin and alive to God, which means you conclude, come to that place of concluding saying, I'm dead to sin or this, uh, this sin or that sin, I'm dead to it, but I'm alive to God. And also it says, do not present your members, you know, as uh, instruments of unrighteousness. So don't put yourself in a place, don't expose yourself unnecessarily uh, to sin, to an act of sin but present yourself to God, expose yourself to God, make yourself vulnerable to God and open and transparent before God as, uh, and your members as instruments of righteousness. 1 John chapter 5, verses 4 and 5, this is what we read. So whatever, for whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Who is he who overcomes the world, but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? Now, while we are talking about sin, we need to also mention the pull of the world, um, which causes us uh, to sin or which tempts us um, to fall into acts of sin, to commit acts of sin. So here it says that whatever is born of God overcomes the world and the pull of the world. Uh, for this is what overcomes the world, our faith, our faith in God. And also um, Acts chapter 1 and verse 8, the Lord Jesus says, For you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. So the Lord is empowering us by the power of His Spirit to be victorious over sin. For sin shall not have dominion over us. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you for this reminder that sin shall not have dominion over us. I just want to declare this over my life, over the lives of others who are listening. Sin shall not have dominion over you. Lord, we thank you that as we reckon ourselves dead to sin and alive to you, as we present our members as members of righteousness, Lord, uh, unto you, God, I pray that we would walk victoriously, even as we remind ourselves of this truth, that sin, sin shall not have dominion over us. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.